concludes the speaker's list. And now for the Commission, Mr. Reinder. Merci, mesdames. Thank you, Mr. President, and thank you, Honourable Members, for sharing your views and your concerns uh, in this House. The Commission shares the majority of uh, the remarks that have, uh, have been made on this specific uh, uh, issues, the investor and residence uh, schemes. Uh, the Commission highlighted these concerns repeatedly, including here in this House. Some of you would have perhaps wanted the Commission to launch infringement proceedings at an earlier stage. We began by trying to find a political solution with dialogue with the Member States. Uh, I I've uh, been speaking to different uh, contacts since uh, uh, last December to asking member states to um, uh, put an end to these programs. The fact that there are still these programs means that we are now uh, uh, bound to open infringement proceedings. The last step in a force ongoing for several years to address the concerns raised by monetary schemes that result in the acquisition of EU citizenship. The Commission encouraged both Cyprus and Malta to continue their screening of successful applications launched following the last scandals. I know that there are many questions about the, the citizenships that were already granted by Cyprus and Malta. In accordance with the uh, applicable rules and respecting due process, naturalization should be revoked wherever necessary. Question concerning needs need to be uh, careful assessed. The, the question concerning retroactivity, sorry, need to be careful, uh, carefully assessed, and it's premature to take a position on it now. We have not even gone to, to the court of justice and are even further away from a judgment, but we need to continue to uh, discuss maybe about such a, a kind of issue. And, um, of course, there are also some remarks about the necessity to finance the different budget in the different member states. But fostering uh, investment is, of course, a legitimate goal to pursue for any country, in particular during these difficult times. However, this should be made at, not be made at any cost. EU citizenship is a collection of shared rights that all member states provide in solidarity. Schemes that result in the selling of citizenship for the sole benefit of an individual member state could be seen as exploiting this common achievement. As you know, we have proposed a recovery plan of unprecedented size to protect lives and livelihoods. livelihoods. We prefer the single market and build a lasting and prosperous recovery. This is proof of strong European solidarity in face of the enormous challenge our economies face. It will send the wrong signal if one member state is seen to take economic measures that go against this solidarity of all member states. Mesdames et Messieurs les, les députés. Honourable members, the Commission will continue to defend the values and the rights linked to EU citizenship. You can count on our full commitment to, and on my personal commitment as well to defend European citizenship common European citizenship based on freedom, democracy, respect for human rights and fundamental rights, as well as the rule of law. These values are not for sale. The Commission takes its responsibility to ensure that that remains so. We will continue our actions um, for uh, uh, investor and visa resident schemes, which are uh, given out in the EU, in uh, candidate countries and other third countries. I have said that in uh, my introductory remarks are different from uh, citizenship schemes in terms of rights granted, but entail similar risks. They are governed by national law, but interact with EU law. The Commission will continue to monitor the situation closely, notably to ensure that the necessary border and security checks are carried out. Et, um, je voudrais conclure... I'd like to conclude, ladies and gentlemen, by thanking you. I'd like to thank you for your attention, but above all, thank you for your support uh, for these actions which have been taken and which will have to be taken in this area. Thank you. <coughs>
With that, the debate is concluded. Our next point on the agenda is the Commission statement on the state of the energy union. Let me say that once again, there won't be any catch the eye for this debate. There won't be any blue cards or any points of order for reasons I'm sure you can all understand. It is also possible to have online interventions from the European Parliament liaison offices in the member states. I will give the floor.